Hey guys, I'm Chess Pride and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, I'm picking out my second review video for today, and that is for the Sims 4 Basement Treasure Kit. Today, on 420, they came out with two new kits, a Sims 4 Basement Treasure Kit and a Sims 4 Greenhouse Haven Kit. I've already done the review on the greenhouse, if you want to go back and watch that, but today on this video I'm going to be going over the basement one so let's jump into the description shall we just a little dusty sometimes you have to shift through the basement to uncover a few gems they might look a little scuffed up but they still have plenty of use and a whole lot of character precious memories add a little history to your decor do these items have sentimental value with your sims or are they simply what they are making do with maybe their mom was their favorite it was their mom's favorite recliner or their grandparents old television create new memories from the old i will say just from the looks of this uh stuff i am excited about the tvs Old couches and stuff, I don't know how I feel about yet. I'll have to wait and look at them closer. Um, but some of the items that I'm, I'm really liking is some of them, I'm just like, eh. Like that couch, I'm like, eh. But uh, let's go ahead and jump in the game and see what it's all about. Alright, we are in build mode and we are on the same lot as the greenhouse uh, review was on. I put less walls this time because I was like, last time I was like, oh, we're going to need more wall space because it's a greenhouse kit. And then I forgot it's just a kit and I didn't even use three-fourths of a full wall. So we're still going to one wall this time. But I'm going to start out this part by saying the same thing I say about all the kit reviews is it, they still have not given us separate kits it's just all the kits are under one category each stuff pack has their own check mark each game pack has their own check mark each expansion pack has their own check mark but yet we have more kits than we do any of those even though they've only been coming out for like three years if even and we still haven't got it uh uh, a separate list for each one super annoying I hope that they change that at some point but I'm gonna just keep pointing out in all my kit review videos until they fix it <laughs> so let's jump back into it because they're they are all kits if I get confused and pull wrong object I'm sorry I try not to but let's look at the room first then we have wallpaper and I think that's it for build mode and then it's probably all in buy mode. But let's look at the basement hideaway. Alright, so I like the bed in the corner from Sims 1. I, I really like this mirror. I like this TV. Um, I, I didn't know you could highlight over stuff and actually t give you the description. Hey, okay, Grandma's couch is the couch I'm not a big fan of so far. Um, the lamp I don't like. <laughs> The boxes on the ground I do like, though. And a little... Oh, what are these things called? Hand trucks, I think? Okay, okay. But we have a pink. We have a brown. And we have... A, like, tannish with red accents. I think I'm gonna go with the brown. So let's buy this room and place it down. Also... I don't know if... I don't think be move objects is on yet so I'm gonna turn that on because we would be placing stuff everywhere let's get a closer view Ooh, look at these pictures that's cool that's cool I like these pictures I like the brown corners on them is this separate oh okay, so this is separate from this what is this a TV console okay what's that what is that dusty trinkets I like the chair sat on top of the chair. Is the lamp separate? Yeah, the lamp is separate. So this works as a table. That's cool. The crate. I like this chair. I don't like this couch. Yeah. Is this all one? Okay, so the uh, the mirror 
comes with picture frames. Interesting. Okay, okay. So that is our sneak preview into what is coming with this pack. So I'm saying let's jump into wallpapers. So is this is... I'm assuming the TV one is this because it's the same thing as in this room. So it looks like we have a wallpaper that has seven swatches. So let's go swatch them. So we have a plain, plain Jane, whitish, tannish one. We have with a white border. We have a tannish. So it's white with a white border, tan with a black border. Gray with a grayish brown with a black border, white with a brown border, white with a dark brown, pink with a dark brown, and white with a beige thing. <laughs> I just blanked. Sorry. So that is our seven new wallpapers. It looks like there's nothing else in build mode. The last kit for the greenhouse thing had a lot in build mode. I guess just this wallpaper is one object and the rest of them are in build or uh, buy mode. So I'm actually curious how much, how many items I got. So the wallpaper was one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So actually that's only one less than the last kit. They're doing actually pretty good. That's pretty decent. A lot of kits only have like 23, 24 objects. So I appreciate that they're putting that extra effort. Oh yes, and they did put a mirror in without the picture frames. Sweet. Okay. But let's just jump into the stuff in the order they go. And it looks like they are putting couches and chairs down first. So let's look at these. The couch I have mixed feelings on. Is this the only couch? Oh, yeah. So this is the only couch. I have mixed feelings on. I do like this chair. I the, the whole point of this kit is that the stuff is supposed to look dingy and old. So, oh, I don't know. I went... They do have swatches that have less obvious scratches, but they're still pretty obvious. And I just don't like putting scratched up stuff in my builds. But I'm still giving it a chance. I do like everything else about it except for the fact it's scratched up. So I might use it in the future. Who knows? This couch... I, most of the swatches I don't, ooh, yeah, especially like that, no. Um, most of the swatches I don't like. Um, I also would like it better if the wood was a different color. But I guess if I had to choose my favorite swatch, it's either be the black or the blue. The blue is a pretty blue color, I'll give it that. Uh, I just don't like the wood color on it. But we have uh, a TV stand and a coffee table and the chair thing that's a table. So these your TVs can go sit on top of. So when we get to the TV, I'll probably sit on top of here. It does have a crack in the screen, but I think all these objects are going to have some kind of damage to them. So here are all the swatches. I, I like this swatch. It's not too beat up. And I, I'm a sucker for a dark wood. So I like this swatch. The coffee table, I'm assuming, matches colors. Yeah, pretty much. Here's one that matches. And then this, this is just a very interesting object. Like, I, like, I like it. I don't know where I would ever use it, but I like it. So, that is my final thought on that. We have a new plant. Yay, I love new plants. Okay, uh, let's take a look at her. 
she is pretty. I like how, I like her size too. It's a really good size plant. But here is all the swatches. Some have cracks in them, some don't. I appreciate the ones that don't. I don't know, it's pretty. It's pretty. I would have to have a certain color for it to go with, but it's pretty. Wary wall decal. Okay, so we're getting into some of the wall stuff. So if you have a wallpaper and you want it to look like it has brick behind it, you can use this. Let's see, is there? There's no other swatches. Wait, yes, there is. Why is it? Let me... Hold on. Am I just... Oh, I'm too zoomed in. My bad. I just wanted to see it better. But we have concrete. Concrete. It looks like we have, like, mold almost or wire damage. Scratches. Rupt, roughed up spots. More wire damage and more brick. Yeah, that's... Okay. I can see where people are going to use that. Especially, like, TLC apartments. I feel like that would go really well in. But I was excited about these next ones, which is the these pictures. Family pictures. And the frame is so cute. There is some without broken glass, too, which I really appreciate. And there's a variety of different pictures. This one's cute. I mean, I'm totally using that in builds. I'm totally using that. I love this. And does it size up well? Yeah, you can make like a big picture. All right, cool, cool. Put you right here. There we go. And the next two items I was excited about because it's the new mirror. I love a good mirror that like I leans up against the wall. Um, and this one's a lot nicer than the one we already have. So, I'm going to go through the color. They're literally going to have the same color swatches, so I'm just going to go through the ones with picture frames. So, we have more brown, a gold one, a muddier brown with a broken glass, a orangey tan one, a, a white one with broken glass, and a black Solid one. I, I like the fact it comes in black. I would probably definitely use this object a lot. Especially in this swatch. I also liked the gold swatch. I'm not a big fan of gold, but that's actually a pretty decent gold color for being gold. Alright, so that's cute. We have a dusty trinket. I want to know what this is. What, what is this? It looks like a teddy bear with an ear missing, holding flowers, and then a bowl with some kind of picture in it. That's what I think I'm seeing. I'm not 100% though. I'm not 100% sure that's exactly what I'm seeing. But, um, there you go. Let's see, what's the description chain? Is this right? Dusty trinkets that hold strange sentimental value. They're creepy, but also cute, kind of. That doesn't tell me what it is. Okay. It's just a trinket, I guess. I guess. Okay. Well, we have a couple of boxes and, like, clutter objects. I'm really excited about the boxes. I'm excited about that telephone. The crate is nice. So... What is this? Is this craft stuff? Fun for all ages. Yeah, I think I think that's like craft objects. Okay, so we'll look at this stuff first. The box, this is what I want to look at first. So, it has a, different, a couple of different swatches. I like this one's kind of like uh, frost uh, rainbow vibes. And this box has some water stains. And different color tapes. So yeah, it's basically two different color tapes and one has a water stain and one doesn't. I don't like the fact they have water stains. <laughs> I'll go with the options that don't have water stains. Then milk crates. I've been wanting milk crates in this game for so long. <laughs> and I, I wish they were empty. I wish they came in the version without the vinyls. I do appreciate the vinyls because I I think vinyls are often 
uh, stored in, in these types of, of things. But uh, I'm just excited to have this. Very excited. Um, then we have the uh, kids st friendly stuff. And then this phone. This is the kind of phone I grew up with. So I'm excited to be, ha be having a phone like this in the sims even if it doesn't function like a phone like it, they used to in sims 3 it's still a really cool object to have because like i had like my fondest memory of a phone my favorite phone is we had one like this but it was attached to a mickey mouse like and the missing mouse is like a good foot tall so like you had to imagine it was this big old phone it was in the kitchen and uh that was my our phone uh, our house phone growing up. <laughs> so it had the cord like this, and you had to sit at the kitchen table to use it. So yeah, to see a funky corded phone, very excited. I know it's not as old as like a dial dial phone or something, but seriously, who has these anymore? Especially this old looking with a little dial. Well, it does have a little dial on it. Okay, never mind. It does have a dial. It's just attached to the phone. <laughs> okay, well, you know. But anyways, so that is the whole first row. And now we only have nine more objects to go. So we have some more clutter items right, he right here. We have some trophies, which is another thing I'm excited for in this pack. Because we don't really have many good looking trophies in the sims so i'm glad to be having this i think this is cool especially since there's more than one like grouped together i wish they had included them separately as well but i know they have to save on object count so and then we have them they're calling the moving buddy but it's basically hand trucks with a suitcase on it and I, I this is a really cool object i don't know how often i'll use it but I do appreciate it. They even have gold. Fancy. So fancy. Oh, well, I don't know if it's gold. It's more gold. Uh, orange than gold. But we're going to pretend it's gold. <laughs> it's more just rusted metal, really, is what it is. Um, the next object I know is an object several people are excited about. And that is the disassembled heart bed. So this is the bed from Sims 1. It was the only way you could get pregnant in The Sims 1 was to use this bed, I'm pretty sure, from what I know about The Sims 1. And it would, like, vibrate, and when you get on it vibrating, you would have the option to make a baby. Because, you know, Sims 4 is, is so much easier to uh, make a baby, and there are so many more options. So, but people have been wanting this bed brought back to the, for The Sims 4, and now they're just, like, teasing people with it. And they're like, oh, you want this bed? Well, guess what? It's disassembled. You can't use it like an actual bed. So I don't know if people are going to be excited or pissed off about that. But I'm kind of excited for it. I think it's a cute object. And it's realistic. I've had mattresses sitting around my house before. Especially after my grandma died, we had her old mattress we had to get rid of, and we just had it sitting around the house for it propped up against the wall for a little bit. So it's realistic. Um, but yeah, that that's that object. And now there is some more wall stains. These are not these are more stains than rips. Where? Oh, does it only? Is it floor or wall? I think it's wall. Uh, I mean floor. And you can't really see it on this grass very well. There's no tiling now. Well, believe me, it's like uh, basically just puddles. There's some scruffs and more. That looks like moldy water stains. So that you have the same, basically the same stuff here. But without the ripped part. Just the stains. Alright. We have a, a lamp here and a lamp here. So, 
I like the smaller one for several reasons. One, I know it's tilted a little bit, but it's not like this bad tilted. So it doesn't bother my OCD as much. But I just like the pattern on this lamp a little bit better. Um, yeah, there are versions without the base being cracked as well, which is nice. I just like the funky patterns on it. I like it. This is more of a lamp that I grew up with. <laughs> um, and I never really liked these lamps that much. So, probably won't use that very often, but I can see where it's coming in. And we only have three objects left. So, we have the TV that I'm excited for. So this old antenna TV with the knobs on it. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm so excited to have this in my Isom's houses. I don't know how often I'll use it, but I really like it. And it's so tiny. It's like the TV I had in my room growing up. I love that it matches this stand. And just fits perfectly with it. I love it. I love it. It's great. That is all my, <laughs> I'm going to say about that. It's great. <laughs> all right. And two more objects. We have a bookshelf, which I, I don't know how I feel about it. It looks very handmade. I will say that. I'm assuming it has a bunch of different slots on it. One, two, three, four. All right. It has four slots on it. I wish you could slot it on the middle shelves as well, but you can't. But the bottom shelf, you could probably slot something even bigger, like the trophies maybe. Yeah, the trophies fit in there. Nice. Interesting. Very interesting. And what colors does it have? Go through the colors real quick. So we have brown, white, white, uh, rough marks are brown, or tan, tan with rough marks, white, and black. And finally, we have the... Tr the Traveler's Trunk. So I think this is also a storage item. I'll just put it right here. So we have this in a bunch of different colors. I like the blue. I like the black. I like the white and black. Basically, I like every swatch but the blue and brown. I like the blue on blue, but I don't like the blue on brown. But um, my favorite ones, probably the, the the black and gold. That's nice. But guys, that is literally everything that came in this pack right here. Um, it or in the kit. I keep saying pack, but it's a kit. It, it's a kit pack. You know, whatever. I don't. Know, I. I like most of it. I just don't know how, realistically how much I would use it. I'm definitely going to use this mirror a lot. But, and, but yeah, other than that, I don't know how much I'm really going to use these objects. But I like most of the objects. Most of the objects I do like. So that is my thoughts on it. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff because you guys... Awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.